Even if you've lived in the Toledo area your entire life, this is the wettest start to autumn you've ever experienced. A record breaking start to the fall season with over a foot of rain over the course of numerous rainfall events in September and October. So far it's dosed out evenly a little over half a foot in September, six inches plus in October as well, and more rainfall in that first alert 10 day forecast. And many of you who have lived in southeast Michigan or northwest Ohio for many, many years have noticed this trend that it seems to be getting wetter and wetter and wetter and wondering, well, why exactly is this happening? Well, there are a number of reasons, but scientists have noticed that over the years and decades, there's been an uptick in rainfall events. Back in the 1950s, we typically only saw around four days with over an inch of rainfall in the Toledo area. Now in 2021, that has skyrocketed up to close to eight days as that trend line has been shooting up over the last 50 to 75 years. The impacts of climate on these rainfall events are pretty stark and easy to see looking at the weather data. But what's the reasoning behind it? Well, we are warmer now than we were decades ago. Not only the land temperatures, but also the water, and that includes the oceans as well as Lake Erie. Now, with the warmer air in the water, there is more evaporation as that water goes up into the atmosphere to form clouds. And with greater evaporation, there is more heavy rainfall as well. One way to kind of think of it is to imagine boiling water on the stovetop. Which one's going to make the water boil faster if you've got it turned to low or if you've got the burner turned to high. Similarly, we've been turned up to high on the burner and that's caused more evaporation and more rainfall over the past decades. And that increase in evaporation, not linear. In fact, it's been shooting up exponentially as temperatures have grown warmer and this record breaking start to the fall season. As far as rainfall is concerned, it's a trend that you're likely going to notice over the coming years and decades. We'll keep you updated in our first alert forecast as well as our Climate Fridays newsletter.